Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm using two different bots inside Discord to do face swaps. In particular, I'm using Blue Willow, which is an AI image generator, and then I'm using the Insight Face Swap bot that is free as well. I want to state up front, uh, Blue Willow is a mid-journey competitor and it is completely free. So everything you see here is done for no charge. This is amazing. Let's show you what I'm going to show. Well, let me show you what I'm going to show you and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the original image of Elon Musk doing his thing. I turned that image into this, into this, into this inside Blue Willow here for free without any Photoshop with nothing. Here's the original prompt. I asked for a Nordic male warrior close up portrait looking at camera and then again I upscaled these three examples. Then I face swapped them again all within Discord here all within my server that I will show you how to set up and I got this one. I got this one. I got this one. This is absolutely amazing. Let's go through it step by step. All right everybody so how do we do this? The first step is you need to go to the left side here of your Discord and hit this plus button. What we're going to do is we're going to add a server. And in this server, we're going to put the Blue Willow bot and we're going to put the Insight Face Swap bot. So I hit that plus button and then it says a few things. I'm going to create my own. It's going to be for me and my friends, even though I don't have any friends. And then I'm going to name it. And I'm going to name this Blue Willow Face Swap for this one. And I don't need to upload an image. Let's just go as is. Then I'm going to click create. Presto. Now let's go to the next step. Okay, so the next step is you need to click on the Blue Willow Discord server. I am hovering over top of it right here. It's this blue thing with this little crystal look here. Hover over it, select it. Once you've selected it, you'll get a whole bunch of options. The one we're looking for is we want to go all the way over to the right side. It says Blue Willow Bot. I'm going to left click on it. And when you do that, you get the option to add to server. Click add to server. Now, when it, you get these options, add a bot to server, etc., etc. But when we hover down here, it says add to server, select server. We want to select Blue Willow Face Swap. That is the server that we just created. Click on continue. Authorize it. It might ask you for a CAPTCHA. Oh, it asked me if I'm human. Okay, I'm human. Let's go. Okay, let's get to the next step. Okay, so the next step is we want to add in the Insight Face Bot Swap Bot. So I'm going to Command V or Control V and copy in a link to it. This link I'm going to put in the description below so you guys can just go into my YouTube description and click go ahead and copy paste it in. When I do this, you'll see here that it launches the Insight Face Bot. It does the same thing we just went through. Again, we select a server. In this case, we're going to select Blue Willow Face Swap. We're going to click Continue. We're going to let it do its thing and then presto. Okay, we're getting captured again. No big deal. Bang. Authorize. Good to go. Now, look up here at the top right. We have all of them in the, we've got our own server here. We got the Blue Willow bot. We got the Insight face swap. Now, let's get to work and start swapping faces. All right, everybody. So welcome back. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do face swapping. They both work. One works if you want to get one done really quickly and you've got one person or thing you want to swap. The other one allows you to create a library of up to 10 different images or people that you can hot swap in as you see fit. I'll show you the easy way first and then I'll show you the pretty easy way second. So the first one is you want to type in forward slash save ID. When you do this, it allows you to save an identity feature by name and image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter and you'll see two things. We've get a image here and then we get an ID name. So in this case, I'm going to go with, let's go with Taylor Swift to start. I'm going to drag and drop my Taylor Swift image right there. And then I'm going to give it an ID name of Taylor, of just straight Taylor. Now do notice that I capitalized the T and capitalization does matter in this for some reason. So there you go. And I'm going to hit enter. Let's see what we get. ID name Taylor created. Excellent. So now Taylor is our ID. Now watch this forward slash imagine. And I'm going to go um, cyberpunk female warrior. Okay. Close up shot uh, looking at camera. And I'm going to hit enter. The reason why I did that is because, you know, that way, the, if you're looking at the camera, then more of the face is involved and you're not getting a side angle. Although it does work with everything, but I find these to be better. So here we go. I ran the prompt. I'm going to come back when it's done. I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, welcome back. So we're still in Blue Willow, and here we go. Here are our four candidates. I like, uh, they're pretty good. I'm going to upscale the first one. 
I'm gonna upscale. I'm gonna upscale them all. Let's go and just just go ham here. So here we go. Here's the first one, and they're just gonna shoot through. Now here's the upsampled or the upscaled one. Let's click on this, and then okay, that's what we got. Now watch this. I am going to right click on the image, and then I'm going to go to apps. And when I hover apps, you'll see in swapper. Watch this. I'm gonna click on that. And it's going to go ahead now and swap in Taylor face. Look at that. That is amazing. Holy snap. Guys, this is completely free. I'm serious. You don't have to pay for anything. That is wild. We can do it on the other images as well. So let's just do it while we're here. I'm going to right click on this image. And then I'm going to go to apps in swapper. I'll right click on this image. Apps in swapper. And then let's see what we got. So here's Taylor's first one. Here's Taylor in that one. That one's pretty good, but the first one's a little better. Here's another Taylor Swift one. Not bad, but again, the first one is far better. And then let's just go ahead for effect. Let's go with this last one. It's very, very quick. We've in swapped it. Bang. Okay, Taylor Swift doing her thing. That is a really good image. So that is the first way. Now I'm going to show you how to create a library and go and make a whole bunch of different ones. All right, welcome back. So now I'm going to show you how to add in more names and more hot swappable uh, face swap. So here we go. I'm going to go and type in forward slash save ID again. So you got to save each ID or each individual that you want to swap out or swap in. Pardon me. You got to give them each an ID. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to grab in this case. I'm going to grab a picture of Ronaldo. Why not? And here we go. Here comes Ronaldo. And then in this came in this one, I'm going to go Ronaldo. I'm going to call it Ronaldo seven. Okay. There's our, there's my new ID. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now you'll see here that ID name Ronaldo7 is created. Awesome. Now watch this. I'm going to go forward slash imagine and I'm going to go cyberpunk warrior male uh, looking at camera portrait close up shot. Hit enter. When this is done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we can use Ronaldo or Taylor Swift now. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Here are the four images that it created for me. And then I just upscaled a few of them. One three, one, three, and four. And here's what we got. So these are just pretty standard, you know, cool looking cyberpunk warriors, all good. The next step, if we want to go a little bit and start creating IDs and use the Ronaldo one we created is you want to just right click on the image and save it. So right click image, save image. And I'm going to call this one cyber one. I'll put it on my desktop because that way I can access it a little easier. And then I'll right click on this image and I'll call this one cyber two, put it on my desktop etc. So we'll just do those first two and then see how that goes. So there we go. We've saved those images. Now the next step is we go to the prompt here, type in forward slash swap ID and hit enter. Then it asks us for a image and then it asks us for an ID name. Remember that we just created the Ronaldo 7 ID. So that's what we're going to do. So go to finder, go to desktop and we're going to grab that first image cyber one. We're going to drag it and drop it right onto the image slot right there. On the ID name, I'm going to type in Ronaldo7 like we were going to, and I'm going to hit enter. Watch this. This is amazing. So here we go. Again, Blue Willow, free insight face swap, free stuff. Click on the image. That is an incredible image. We just created it for free. If we want to do another one, just to show you another example, swap ID. I'm going to go ahead and grab cyber image two here. So I'm going to drop that on top. And then I'm going to type in Ronaldo seven, hit enter. And again, this is going to blow your mind. I know it will. It does every time for me. This looks like an, like some sort of skate punk Ronaldo. There you go, guys. This is how you face swap no Photoshop using Blue Willow, the mid journey competitor and using Infice, Insight face swap bot. Thank you for watching.